Hi everyone. Gnocchi are one of my favorite pastas to make, and these sweet potato gnocchi are absolutely delicious. So let's jump right in and make them. So sweet potatoes. Well, these are technically yams. Sweet potatoes are white on the inside or a tint of yellow. These are orange, so they're yams. Still delicious though. And then what we want to do is just poke this with a fork a few times. Doesn't matter how you do it. You just want to get some holes in here. This is going to help take some of the moisture out as they're roasting. So you want these to be pretty dry or as dry as possible. That's it. Poke some holes. We're going to put them in our air fryer. I do these at 350 for 55 minutes. All right, so now our sweet potatoes are ready. They're still hot. You can see sugar started to come out and caramelize. Super soft. Now what you want to do is get a bowl. All you got to do is break the skin. Just take a little bit out. And you just basically just squeeze it right out. So you want to take this. Just try to push it through here. I'm going to take out any of the lumps. Yeah, we got most everything through. I just need to take it off of here. And this is what you end up with. Super smooth sweet potato puree. All right, so before we make our sweet potato gnocchi, we're gonna need a couple things. One is an egg. We're just gonna crack this. And this is a small batch, so I really only need half an egg for this. So we're just gonna whisk it up. And then we're gonna take our sweet potato puree right here. We're gonna put this onto our board. Now, what we're gonna do is season with some salt, a little pepper, and some nutmeg. So what you wanna do is get some flour. What I do is I cut this first. See how wet it is. So it's gonna be a little messy in the beginning. And this one you don't want to really wanna to work too much. I fold it, just trying to get everything working. Now would be a good time to add our egg. Like I said, it's a small batch. So you only need to add a little bit. And the egg is gonna help keep everything together but we haven't kneaded it yet. We're just keeping going like this, and then we're just flipping it over and pushing it in on itself. This is just getting the flour to rehydrate into the potato. The kneading is gonna help get that flour inside and also work the gluten that's in the flour to give us a little bit of structure and texture into the gnocchi. Otherwise, there's really nothing in the sweet potato because it's so soft. Get all that out of there. And that's our dough. Now, just want to let it sit for like 15, 20 minutes to give the flour a chance to rehydrate and we'll come back and roll it out. All right, now that our dough's rested for a little bit, add some more flour. We just want to roll it into a log and make it into a workable size. So I just cut it in half. And the less rolling you do, the softer your gnocchi are gonna be. Um, if it is a little, little wet, then we can always just work in some flour as we go. So, set that aside, get in our flour, and then just start rolling. So we just got it to our size that we need. You can make big gnocchi, little gnocchi, whatever you want. And then what we do is just take this, you can use a knife, whatever it is. And then I usually do about here, I do like one inch. So I know like from my from here to here is about one inch. And that's my measurement. Gnocchi shouldn't be chewy. They should be really delicate and soft. Uh, we used to make them and it was always a 
battle between who can make the most ethereal gnocchi. And your prize for making the best gnocchi is you get to keep making the best gnocchis. All right, now that we have them all rolled out, what we wanna do is get our gnocchi board. And we have two sides on the gnocchi. We have the side that we cut and the side that we didn't. So what I do is I take the two sides that are cut and leave it here. You wanna take your thumb. These usually come with a little stick and I've had this for 20, 25 years. So that stick is long gone, but you can use a chopstick if you want. I just take your thumb and just push down gently. And this is just to kind of get those grooves in there. You wanna have something like this. Then all I do before I cook them, just get them on my tray. And you still gotta be delicate with these, but not super delicate. All right, now we need to add our gnocchi. You don't need to add a bunch at a time. Now, a big misconception is people are gonna tell you, oh, the gnocchi are ready when they float. They're not, these are floating. Let's grab one. All right, let's cut it real quick. We and check if it's ready. And these need to go for another probably like 25, 30 seconds. All right, we're gonna take our gnocchi, put them into an ice bath. This is just gonna make the cooking process later easier for us. So we don't have to try to go right from the boiling hot water, the wet gnocchi into a pan that's gonna have hot, hot stuff in there. Cause we wanna get these crispy. Now that our gnocchi are ready, I'm gonna take them out of our ice bath. Just put them on a paper towel to drain for a minute. Last thing we need to do before we cook them. Now, I know this seems like a lot of steps, but it's gonna make it easier in the long run. Plus you can make these, have these ready to go in the fridge a day ahead of time two days ahead of time. And then when you're ready to cook, you just gotta warm them up. Start with their butter. Add some hazelnuts. We want our hazelnuts to toast a little bit. Just like that. Now we can add our gnocchi. Placing crispy on the outside. We're gonna add this is house made black truffle salt. A little sprinkle of that, not too much. At this point, we just turn off the heat. Add a little bit of Parmesan cheese. This cheese makes everything better. Man, if you could smell this. These gnocchi are soft on the inside, crunchy, buttery, and cheesy. Everything that you want in a pasta.